Hi everyone, welcome back to the Laravel 8 tutorial. In this video, we are going to learn about eloquent relationship one to many. One to many relationship will use when one table associated with multiple. For example, a post may have multiple comments. Okay, so for understanding one to many relationship, let's create two table, uh, post table and comments table and both uh, table are connected with each other okay so let's create so switch to the command prompt and here just type the command php artisan make colon model and model name which is post and just add here the dash m for creating migration and now press enter Now let's create the comment model. So just write here PHP artisan make colon model space model name which is comment. All right, and add here dash m. Now press enter. All right, now switch to the project and uh, just open post migration. So just go inside the database migration. And from here just click on create post table migration okay and here let's add some column so just write here table data type a string and column name which is title all right now add the column uh, data type text and column name body okay now save this file now let's open comment migration so just open this and here let's add some column just write here table string and column name which is comment all right and here just add the post id column so just write here table big integer and add here the column name post underscore id also unsigned so just write here unsigned now here let's add the foreign key so just write here dollar table foreign and here just add the column name post id okay add the references so just, so just write here references on id of post table so just write here on post table okay just write here posts and also add here on delete cascade save this file now go to the post model so just go inside the app directory then st models then post okay and inside this post model first of all let's add the table name so just write here protected dollar table is equal to table name which is post all right now here uh, let's add the function name so just write here uh, create a function here so just write here public function and function name comments okay and inside this just return dollar this arrow has many okay and here just write comment colon colon class all right now save this file and go to the comment model so just open this and here just add the table name so just write here protected dollar table is equal to comments okay this one okay now here just 
add the function so just write here public function function name post and inside this just return here dollar this arrow belongs to okay and just add here post colon colon class all right now save this file now let's migrate the migration so switch to the command prompt and here just type php artisan migrate now press enter all right migration migrated now let's create a controller so just type here php artisan make colon controller let's say controller name is post controller Okay, now press enter. All right, now switch to the project and just close this. Close this one, this one, and let's open post controller. Okay, so just go inside the HTTP controllers and post controller. And here, let's create a function for insert records. Okay, so just write here public function function name let's say function name is add post and here just try dollar post is equal to new post okay and here just use app slash models slash post okay also add the comment so just write here app slash models slash comment okay now here just write dollar post add the title just write here arrow title is equal to enter any title here let's say title is first post title okay now add the uh, body description of the post so just write here post body okay is equal to just write here post post description okay and now call the save function so just write here post save all right let's create another function for adding comments so just write here public function and function name add comments add comment okay and here just pass the id okay as a parameter All right now just write here dollar post is equal to post colon colon find and just pass here this id okay this id for post id okay so just copy and paste here and now just write here dollar comment is equal to new comment all right and here let's add some comments so just write here comment comment is equal to just write here this is first comment on comment okay now here just dollar post comments And here call the save function and inside this save just pass this comment okay so just copy and paste here now here simply return a message comment has been posted okay also add here a return statement so simply return a message post has been created 
okay successfully right now save this file and let's create a route for this function so go to the wave.php just go inside routes and open wave.php and here just write a route you get and let's say URI is add post okay and here just add the controller name which is post controller uh, colon colon class okay also add here post controller like this use app http controllers and post controller now here just add the function name so just copy this add post and paste here all right now just add the route uh, for the this function all right so just write here get add comment all right and also add here the parameter id and in big bracket just write here post controller colon colon class and just add here the function name which is this one add comment now save this file okay so now switch to the command prompt and run the application so just write here php artisan serve okay now let's check so switch to the browser and just go to the url add post for adding the post so just write here add dash post and now press enter you can see here post has been created right let's check so switch to the uh, go to the php my admin and from here just open database which is laravel 8 pro db2 okay so now just click here and inside the post table just click on browse And you can see here the first post type and first post description okay let's add one more post so just change the title here let's say second and here second post description all right now save this file and just refresh the page post has been created and here just refresh the table and you can see here the second post okay now let's add uh, the comment to the first post so go to the url add comment and here just pass the id of the first post okay which is one so just write here one and press enter you can see here comment has been posted now just browse the comments table so just click on it and here you can see the comment okay this is the uh, first comment and you can see here the post id one okay if i want to add the comment for post id two so for that let's change here uh, let's change here the id okay so just write here two and press enter and you can see comment added uh, refresh the table and you can see here the comment for the post id 2 all right now let's uh, fetch the comments uh, by post okay so go to the controller and let's create a function here so just write here public function and function name let's say function name is get comments by post all right and here just add id as a parameter 
dollar comment comments is equal to post colon colon find and just pass this id okay so just write here dollar id and then just call comments all right and simply return uh, this comments all right now let's create the route so go to the web.php and here just write route get and here just add the uri get comments okay and add the controller name big bracket post controller column column class add the function name which is uh, get comment by post okay and just paste here and also add here the parameter which is id all right now save this file okay so let's check so switch to the browser and just uh, uh, add to the url get comments okay get comments okay and just pass here the post id so let's type here post id one you can see here the post id one and their comment okay if i enter here id two you can see here the post id two comments okay now let's add more comment uh, to the post id one so just add here right here add comment okay and before adding comment uh, just write here this is second comment okay now save this file and uh, go to this out add comment and just pass here the id so just write here add comment and id for the post one so just write here id one okay now press enter comment added now let's check so get comments get dash comments and just pass here id one okay and you can see here the uh these comments okay first and second comments of the post id one all right so in this way you can use one to many eloquent relationship in laravel 8 so that's all about one to many eloquent relationship thanks for watching this video and uh, if you still have any kind of question you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel thanks for watching